creating a landing page in ClickFunnels. Now I'm over here onto their main website, clickfunnels.com, and we're going to go ahead and sign up and you can sign up as well by clicking the link in the description below. So over here, as you can see, I've signed up. It's asking me to pick a theme. We just simply pick a theme and we can go ahead and customize it if we want to explore as well. I'm just simply going to go ahead and click on explore, pick a theme. So I'll just pick this one right here and click on continue. And right here, as you can see, hang tight we are installing a theme and you will be redirected once it's completed it's giving me three minutes so we'll just simply wait and then we'll move on so here we go so this is how the editor looks like over here you have your main website and on the left hand side you have a few options so you have your top section and if you click on this edit block you can go ahead and edit it you can add the logo here edit all of these options that are highlighted or we want to add an element we just simply click on add elements but let's click over here to edit the logo we have options we can change the image width we can change the size and the layout of it lazy loading quality as well increase the quality if you want but since the logo will be quite small you add in the image url right here as you can see you can select the image icon right here to select your own image as well here from the image gallery you can select your own images right you can upload the image and select whichever one you want you can choose from pixabay or icon finder funnel images or unsplash so we have a few logos right here we go with this rocket ship right here and we'll just simply click on the plus icon to import the image and we can upload our own images as well as i said before i uploaded this one right here so we're just simply going to go ahead and select that head and maybe change up the layout of this so i had to go with the default one change the size of the image uh maybe it was 105 then let's go ahead and select on save the universal block then we can scroll down and start editing out our main part of the website get rid of this video we just simply delete this section or if you want you can just simply link it by adding the video url right here and then down below let's say you want to add a section you just simply hover your mouse at the border of each section and it will give you this option add section in condition you can just go ahead and add an example and add a section right here and you can go ahead and add these options so you have blanks dynamic slots uh, headers stacks footers subheaders feature section and about a section to it all depends on you let's say we want testimonials are people saying about us we can even choose this one i think this one looks so as you can see this is how it would look like if you wanted to add a section if you wanted to delete one as you can see we just simply click on the trash can icon and it's deleted now these are elements are linked so for example if i were to click over here each of these sections we can go ahead and add a link to them as well by clicking on this option or selecting this entire block as well it all depends on you let's say you want to click on the settings you can go ahead and link them as well so as you can see it's already linked through the paragraph and if we click on that link it'll open up the custom cs code and over here you can add in code for your same goes with the other sections as well so as you can see we already have a testimonial page right here editing it out so with our blog content as i said before you can edit it out by clicking on each section that is highlighted deleting adding more section it all depends on you and as you can see we have different pages as well and at the top we also have more options we get code we get pop-ups my assets layout and settings as well in settings we can change the background image we can change the typography and editor settings as well and we can change the view as well so this is the mobile view of our website this is how it would look like and this is the desktop view and if you want to save your changes, just simply click on the save button and it'll save all of the changes that you've made onto your website. All the things you need to know about it. At the end of the day, it all depends on your creativity.